Welcome. We'll dive today in the new Outlook. Microsoft released this year the new Outlook as a replacement of the old Outlook app. You can still switch between the old and the new one if you do not feel comfortable with the new Outlook, but in future it's going to replace uh, the old Outlook 100%. So it's better to start using it from now and to get used to the new functions in the new Outlook. I'll explain to you in this video the change between the old and the new Outlook and I will guide you through the, some of the new functionality in new Outlook and where to find some old stuff because some functionality is kind of hidden now. Follow me in this video to see the new Outlook and to learn how to use it. Let's get started. When you open Outlook, you will have on the right side this toggle button. You can click on it and it's going to switch to the new Outlook. And you will have it also in the new Outlook so you can switch back to the old one. Well, I have a better solution for that. I'm using in the Mail app. So in Windows, there is a Mail app. So I'm using the new Outlook in the Mail app and the old Outlook in the normal old Outlook. So I left it as it is. And as you can see in the mail app, we have also the new Outlook button. You can switch back to the old mail app. We are going to use the new Outlook in the mail app in this tutorial. I think my opinion, Microsoft wants to unify Outlook on all platforms. So the new Outlook is very similar to the web version of Outlook. So if you are familiar with the web version, it's almost the same one. Now let's move to the second topic, which is the ribbon bar. It's going to be like this when you switch for the first time. So how to change it to the classic ribbon. The classic ribbon, you can go to this icon or to this uh, drop down, click on it and choose classic ribbon. There is also another way you can go to the view and you can choose from the ribbon button the classic one. Now let's continue with the automatic replies because it's an important topic for a lot of people and its place is different now than uh, the old one. So you need to go to the setting which is on the top right side of Outlook and just clicking on it it's going to launch a window. You have uh, the email accounts and then automatic replies and just turning it on is going to send an automatic replies and you can set it during a time period it's like the old one it's not different i'm gonna click on this card and then close now let's go back and continue with the view of outlook and under view we have different options and let me start from the left side you have the view settings you can click on it and it's going to launch the same settings like on the top right side but now with the layout of the Outlook app. And here you can have different layouts for different email accounts. And you have a drop down and you can choose from it. And scrolling down, we will see some other options on how to adjust our layout. You can play with them to get the result that you want. They are self explanatory, so I don't think I need to explain them to you. Now let's focus on the icons here. We have the conversations icon and here you can change it from a message like showing each time a message or showing a conversation. So if someone reply to your email, it's going to appear as a chat conversation. And now we have the message preview. You can hide the preview text or you can show the preview text. It's going to show like the first couple of words of the email. For example, hello, this email from Amazon, or we can hide it. If we have an email with a conversation or with more emails, we can collapse the conversation or expand the conversation like here. You, we can also zoom in, zoom out, reset the zoom. We can sync. And the ribbon, we talked about it before. Then we have the folder pane. We can show it or hide it. So I'm hiding it to hide um, the email account. 
and we also have the reading you can change the reading you can also show the calendar or height as you see when pressing on show it will appear on the right side and then we have the density which is for me kind of zoom in zoom out in the mail so it's gonna show bigger or smaller text and more condensed items in the column of emails like if we go to compact we'll have more emails if we go to roomy we will have less emails now let's move to sorting selecting and filtering our mails so as you see on the top we have two icons one is for select and the other one is for filtering so if we click on select we will have a box on the left side and we can select mails and delete them for example and we can deselect them by just clicking on it again so to select we need to click on it to deselect we need to click on it again now filtering if you are familiar with the filter in the old outlook it has a bit more options but as you see here it's a bit less than the older outlook but it's actually it has more options but they are heading so if you go to sort you will have more options they added some new options like has a calendar invite or mention me you can open emails in a new window by just clicking on it two times it's going to pop up in a new window you can also create new mails and then you can just press on this icon and it's going to pop up in a new window and this is how you open your emails in new window now let's move to how to pin categorize or flag emails by clicking on any email and doing a mouse hover it's gonna show you these options and here you can delete pin or flag an email and if you want more options you can press the right mouse button and it's going to show you more option like how to categorize your mail how to copy ignore and even block the sender you can create rules saves and there is also advanced options like creating a task with this mail and you can filter the emails according to the category or according to the flag or according to these options that you see in the preview pane now let's get into categories how to create categories settings and under settings you go to categories and then you can edit them here create even you change the colors and or make them favorites and let's add like a, a new one like test and give it a color and save it and as you can see it's there we can also edit it test two and save and that's how you create edit categories now let's get into the calendar where to find the calendar the calendar is on the left side as you see and when we click on it it's going to open the calendar i need just to close this to have more place and now we can create a meeting in the calendar I have a 365 family plan, so it's a little bit different than the business one. So if you have a business plan, you will see um, the Teams uh, plugin in the background, which is gonna make it possible to create Teams meeting directly in Outlook. Now let's go to the next topic, which is creating. You can create tasks by, you can go to tasks or to to do app like calendar by clicking on the icon on the left side and here you can create a task test and we can add it and we can assign people to it or we can give it we can um, add a category to it we can do a lot of stuff we can add a reminder um now let's move to other topics 
to other 365 apps like OneDrive, Word, PowerPoint. You can use them all here. In my case, you can see Excel, OneNote, Word, PowerPoint, because as I said, I have um, the 365 family plan. So if you have the business one, you will have more options in this place. I think that was all. It's still somehow very similar to the old one, but with the less options. So they removed a lot of editing option from the new Outlook, and it's much simpler and easy to use in comparison to the old Outlook because it has less options. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.